After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. As I mentioned in the last episode, we did unlock Mauritania, and there was one thing I want to start off straight away, and that is obtaining enough marks of grace to buy some graceful pieces, and that will be 50 laps later. We got ourselves three agility levels, and we are now going to buy graceful gloves. Oh, we got the mind talisman. Like, you guys don't think this is anything, but this is the one thing I needed to complete the Falador Easy Diary. It is time to do a 6 hour log of catching Shinshampas. Unless someone finds me, we start at 55 Hunter. And this is... 56 Hunter. 57 Hunter. 58 Hunter. 59 Hunter. 60 Hunter. We can now use 4 traps instead of 3. Three hours in without anyone finding us or even looking for us. 62 Hunter. I'm gonna stop here. We didn't do the six hour log. I'm actually exhausted. Where's the civilian? Another 200 difference. Thank you very much. This is the first time I log in since everyone found out uh, there is a two bill bounty on my account. So uh, we're gonna see how bad it's gonna be. Hey, another eclectic. Oh. Another eclectic Mitchell pick. Oh, we got the medium clue scroll. It's time for me to unlock a new area, Keldagrim. All right, we have now unlocked Keldagrim. No one knows I have access to this area, and I'm gonna buy silver ore and gold ore. We're gonna need to stack up on these uh, supplies because we want crafting experience in this episode. I just realized you can buy tickets from this uh, card conductor. Grand Exchange Ice Mountain. Where does this take me? Where do I get to? Let's find out. Oh, right here. What a great transportation method. I've been mining plenty of shooting stars and it's finally time to use the reward here. I'm gonna buy all the bag of full gems. We want high construction as quick as possible. How much gems do I get from six bags of gems? Ooh, ooh, I like that. Ooh, and a dragonstone, beautiful. Ooh. Oh, oh, two dragonstones, three dragonstones, that's a lot of uncut. We start at third six crafting, I'll see you when I'm done. 40 crafting, very useful. Four, uh, we can now access the crafting guild. Now it's time to attempt to complete this medium clue scroll. Oh, we got the casket. Give us some new teleports, that's all I'm asking for. Medium casket, number two. We got... Fashionscape, three unique items. The next quest I want to attempt to complete is Elemental Workshop 1. And there we go. Elemental Workshop have been completed. 5k crafting and 5k smithing experience. And this shield, the Elemental Workshop shield, actually is a good shield because it gives plus 6 magic defense bonus. Great for when I reach the teleblock bracket. Medium close scroll, please. Gold bars, beautiful drop. Dude, that's the reason why I'm getting smithing experience, for gold bars. I need to make some more games necklace, and I couldn't because I didn't have the smithing level, so this is great. Another shooting star event has begun. We are only two people here, two hardcore Ironmen. We're gonna get so much dust, so much XP, and so much uncut. Back to the Zuri, two more bag of full gems, uh, there we go. And that's another 200 difference to my pocket. It is time for another hunter session. I do like this spot. No one have shown up here so far. Oh no. Someone found me. Uh, what teleport do we use? Uh, there's a Shinshampa spot here in Corridan land as well. It's a bit worse because there's less Shinshampas, but I think it will do. 63 hunter. Let's go to red Shinshampas. Alright, here we are, red chinchampas. Let's see how many I can catch before being found. Alright, a suspicious account is here, so I think that's enough. This is probably my favorite activity to do on PvP Worlds because you don't really know where the stars are gonna land, so it's gonna be a hard process for the hunters to track the stars down as well without knowing if I'm coming or not. Way 54 mining. Nine, 694 stardust from one star. We can now buy two 
more bag of gems. Thank you very much. 45 crafting. We can now make maple birdhouses. All right, we got three lamps. We're gonna put all these on herb lore. Very easy levels. 19 herb lore, 20 herb lore, 21 herb lore, three levels. Beautiful. I want to get 30 so I can do diaries and put all the experience on herb lore because herb lore is one of the skills you really need for the end game, but it's hard to actually obtain the herbs. Oh, there's a guy following. <clears throat> Whoa! And then we're gonna go to this door right here to sell these items for a high alt price. Add the plate body, 9k, beautiful. And some other things as well. Now we have 32k, nice. Time for me to smash out some thieving, 34 thieving, 35 thieving, 36 thieving. Someone had to find me before I was done. Come on, give me at least one level before I'm done here. There we go, 37 thieving, we're done here. We had our thieving spot for 22 minutes before we was found. Ugh. As if. There we go, 38 thieving. We can now pickpocket master farmers. This guy is acting very suspicious. He says he's protecting me, but can I trust him? I think I can, but we'll have to wait and find out. I just realized, 700 total. Another big milestone for the account. Uh, I wonder if I'm ever gonna reach uh, 1000 total. Check this tree real quick for 34 farming. Beautiful, that's... Uh, now we can do Galanava fruit in Titi farms. One of the main reasons for why I'm at Tight Farm is to get 45 farming, which unlocks the farming skill, which is huge on this account because no PKers have access to that place. First trip of Tight Farm done. 96 Galanava fruit for... 8k farming experience and 96 no 22 points oh my god we got so many levels i believe another trip done we are getting 8.3k farming experience fourth farming right now no i've been scouted i've been scouted 41 farming 42 farming 43 farming 44 farming 45 farming and before going to the farming skill i decided to do a hunter session and I managed to get myself three levels before getting scouted. Here I am, the farming skill. This is such a good place for farming experience, obtaining seeds and thieving experience, and potentially even seeds for herb lore in the future. One thing you can do, farming contracts, giving you plenty of seeds. And then you can also thieve master farmers for even more seeds and thieving experience. And to be able to enter the farming skill is such a time consuming thing to do, which I don't think a single PKer currently has unlocked in my combat bracket, of course. Once you have completed a farming contract, you get these seed packs, which contains five different kinds of seeds. And most of the seeds are very useful. You may have noticed that my microphone have been swapped in the middle of this episode and I hope that's a good thing for your ears. Anyways, we gained a lot of levels this week. Not a single peak here had access to the farming skills. Not a single peak here was there for four or five days. And of course, the one time I don't record, a peak here finally shows up. And luckily for you guys, I did receive the point of view from the peak here himself. Uh, so you can watch the attempt right here. Alright, look at all the seed packs I've collected. It's a total of 28 seed packs. We're gonna open all of them and keep all the seeds in my inventory so you guys can see what I actually obtained from this. We do want limp root seeds. We also want three seeds and Harrowlander seeds. Okay, look at all the seeds I've gotten. Look at all the seeds I've gotten. 
28 limp root seeds, 17 Harlander seeds, 15 willow seeds and plenty more. Look at all that. If it isn't obvious right now, I want to get my Herblore up. Currently we are 25 Herblore. And now we are 30. Look at this. I'm making energy potions. I've been walking around this game for such a long time and now I can run. I did also complete my third medium clue scroll for a wolf mask and an armadillo page. It is time for me to unlock another one-click teleporting method and all I need to do that is by obtaining the ghost speak amulet. I don't have to complete the quest restless ghost. We can now complete ghost ahoy quest even though we haven't completed the quest restless ghost. To avoid getting any combat experience while questing and killing NPCs I use a lot of recoils and poison to kill the monsters. Ghost Ahoy completed for 2400 per experience, giving us one additional combat level. And most importantly, we got another teleporting method. A one-click teleport right here. We're kind of low on cash, we need to sell some items here. Bam, 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 bam. And we made almost 30k just like that. All right, I just completed the Falador Easy Diary for another antique lamp. Normally I put all the experience on hit points, but I feel like it's worth putting all the experience on Herblore now. This is such a hard skill to train up. And there we go, two levels just like that. Oh yeah, I just realized this Falador Shield is a new best in slot defense shield for me. We now have plus 46 range defense. It is time for another Shinshampa session. Let's see how many levels we can get. Starting at 66. 67 Hunter. And that's 68 Hunter. Oh, there he is. There is Kusi Petisi. He found me. Maybe he can spec me one more time. Oh, he's running around. Is Kusi Petisi is running. Oh, oh, ooh. I mean, I got 503 Shinshampas. A one hour and 20 minute session. Not too bad. Oh, there's an MSB right there. Oh my god. Her birdhouse runs is not for sale. What the fuck? Oh my, he saw me. He saw me! Is he gonna follow? We got a magpie. Give us something we can sell. Power amulets. Best in slot amulet right now. I do enjoy the teleporting method with the game's necklace though, but power amulet, very nice. Hey, look at this upgrade from plus 46 range to plus 52. And there we go, we got the casket. Do we get anything from this medium casket? Any teleports? <sighs> there was a scout here and he's gonna die. Scout is gonna die. And he's dead. The scout has died. The next quest on the list is Mountain Daughter. But we're not gonna complete this quest, we're just gonna get to one step of the quest. Is this name Italian? Cusifettisi. There's three- <laughs> There's so many running from here. <laughs> Alright, this is my fourth attempt to kill Kendall. The thing is, I've tried to get it poisoned, but it just didn't work. And we brought recoils this time. Come on, Spear, show us the poison. Show us that poison actually works here. Oh, I think I might have to use my sharks. Oh, thank god. We got the bear head. All right, so if we look at the range defense right here, plus 52, and with the bear head, we get plus 55, a new best in slot range defense item. I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this episode. We got out plenty of unlocks for the range defense. We unlocked plenty of areas as well. And we got ourselves new teleporting methods. So I'm very happy with this episode. And if you wanna see more, make sure to give this video a like. And in the making of this episode, the bounty increased with 25 mil and then 100 mil. Making the total bounty for killing my hardcore Iron Man 2 billion 446 million.